Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to enable passwordless authentication in Microsoft Authenticator. But first, let's talk about passwords for a second. You know how we are always told to make our passwords stronger? Well, here's the thing. Even the toughest password can still be cracked given enough time. It's like putting a bigger lock on your friend door. It might slow down a burglar, but it won't stop a determined one. Now, we have probably heard of multi-factor authentication, right? It has been our go-to choice for beefing up security. But here's the catch. It still relies on passwords. Now, let's talk about the passwordless options Microsoft Entra ID brings to the table. They've got six different ways to transition to passwordless authentication, and you can pick the one that fits your organization. Windows Hello for Business, which is perfect for your Windows devices. Platform Credential for Mac OS, for the Mac users out there. Platform Single Sign-On, PSSO, for Mac OS with Smart Card Authentication, a mouthful but super secure for Mac users. Microsoft Authenticator, a versatile mobile security solution. Passkeys Fido2, the newest option, rapidly gaining popularity. And certificate-based authentication. Now, these methods all do the same job, keeping your account safe without passwords, but each method has its own unique advantages. If you're looking for something that's easy to set up, Microsoft Authenticator is your best bet. Why? Well, it does not need any fancy hardware or complicated setup. All you need is a trusty iOS or Android phone with the Microsoft Authenticator app. Now, let's talk about making your login process even safer. You can use conditional access policies to strengthen up the authentication strength. Instead of just relying on good old MFA, we can now choose a stronger authentication method on what your business really needs. So there are three levels of authentication strength. MFA strength, this is like your basic security package. Passwordless MFA strength, a step up, no passwords needed. Phishing resistant MFA strength, the top tier ultra secure option. Now here's the interesting part. The second and third options, they're all about passwordless option we talked about earlier. But here's the catch. Not all passwordless methods can handle these higher security levels. For example, Microsoft Authenticator, it's great, but it only works with the passwordless MFA strength. So when you're picking your passwordless authentication method, you need to think about what level of security you really need. Microsoft Authenticator used technology similar to Windows Hello for Business using key-based authentication. However, the authentication process is more complex due to its use of a mobile device and an application. So here's the breakdown of how it works. The user enters his or her credential. Microsoft Entra ID recognizes a strong credential and initiates the strong credential flow. The Authenticator app receives a notification via Apple Push Notification Service for iOS or Firebase Cloud Messaging for Android. Next, the user opens the app after receiving the push notification. The Authenticator app connects to Microsoft Entra ID and receives a proof of presence challenge and nonce. Nonce in cryptography means number once, and this arbitrary number is only used one time in a cryptographic communication. To unlock the private key, the user completes the challenge using their biometric data or PIN. The private key signs the nonce, which is then sent back to Microsoft Entra ID. Microsoft Entra ID verifies the public or private key pair and issues a token. All right, let's begin the configuration by enabling Microsoft Authenticator as an authentication method. So I've already logged into Microsoft Entra Admin Center as a global admin, or you can also log in as Authentication Policy Administrator. 
So I'm going to navigate to protection and I'm going to click on authentication methods, click on policies. And on the right side, if you scroll down, select Microsoft Authenticator from the list. In here, under Enable and Target, select Enable. And I'm going to select all users as the target. And I'm going to keep the authentication method as any and click on Save. Now this allows all users to use Microsoft Authenticator as an authentication method. Okay, so if you decide to go passwordless, there's no need to provide a password to the user during the initial setup. Instead, we can issue a temporary access pass for setting up the Microsoft Authenticator app. Okay, let me show you how you can enable temporary access pass as an authentication method. I'll expand identity, expand users, click on all users. I've already created a test user, so let's create a temporary access pass. So I'm gonna click on the test user, scroll down on the left side and click on authentication methods. I'm gonna click on switch to the new user authentication methods experience. Click on add authentication method and from the drop down, select temporary access pass. Choose the activation duration and whether it should be a one-time code. I recommend the one-time use option for added security. So I'm gonna select yes, click on add. All right, here we go. We have the temporary access pass and the validity is for next one hour. You can note down the code and the security registration link and you can share it with the user. Click on okay. Just in case, if you run into an issue where it says the temporary access pass cannot be created, it could be because of the policy that you have set at your organization level in your Microsoft Entra ID. So go back to home and expand protection. Go to authentication methods and under policies, make sure temporary access pass is enabled for all users. All right, so now that we have a user and a temporary access pass, let me walk you through the user registration process. I will demonstrate this using an iPhone with the latest Microsoft Authenticator app installed. All right, so I'm gonna open up Microsoft Authenticator app. I will tap on the plus button to add a new account and I'm going to select work or school account. Tap sign in. Enter the username. In my case, it is user1 at tastybiryani.n. I'll tap next. I'm going to specify the temporary access pass. Tap sign in. Now I need to update my password. So I'm going to specify the current password. The current password is not same as temporary access pass. So this will be the password which was specified during the creation of this user account. I'm going to specify a new password and confirm it again. Hit sign in. Since the Authenticator app is not registered for this account yet, so I'm going to select I can't use my Microsoft Authenticator app right now and select text my phone number. I'm going to specify the code Tap Verify, scroll down and click on Continue to register the device. Tap Register. All right, the phone has been registered. Tap Continue and there you go. User1 at tastybiryani.n has been added into the Microsoft Authenticator app. And if you tap on that, you can see it says passwordless sign-in enabled. With everything set up, let's test it out. I will log into portal.azure.com and I will enter the test user's username, user1 at tastybiryani.n, click next. And there you go, I got a prompt. I'll type the code 33, press yes. My face ID was accepted. 
and I'll press yes on stay signed in. There you have it. So without any password, the test user has logged into the Microsoft Azure portal. All right, this is it. This is how you enable passwordless authentication in Microsoft Entra ID. I hope you liked this video. For more videos like these, please subscribe to my channel.